A wooden block rests on a rough board. The end of the board is raised until the block slides down the block board at constant velocity. This sounds like a lab experiment. So some clues you want to extract is firstly a rough board. When you see a rough board, that means there's probably going to be friction happening here. And the second key thing to note is constant velocity. What does that mean? Hmm. First things first, let's see what they're asking us. Which row describes the forces acting on the block when it slides down at constant velocity? Frictional force? Let's do the first one. So if your velocity is downwards, it's moving downwards, then friction will oppose that and point upwards. Right? Fair, right? Upwards means up the plane, really. So up the plane is going to be either these two of these answers. So we can cancel out A or B. Then, we think about the... What are we looking at? Uh? Hmm, resultant force on the block. Is there a resultant force on the block? Hint is constant velocity. Constant velocity means there is no net force. Because if net force is zero, acceleration is zero, therefore... No change in velocity. So you can say net force ah, zero la. Okay, zero or zero. So best choice you can choose here is D. Now if you're not convinced and you say miss, but there's only one force acting on the block, like, how can it be resultant force zero? Wait, 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 wait. We didn't draw all the forces. If you want to draw all the forces, you need to know that there is firstly also weight downwards. And there's the two components of weight. Uh, don't forget, we are tilted. Our, our axis is a bit tilted. Uh. So kind of like X is this way, Y is this way. Because it's quite convenient to resolve in that way. So we have our Y component and the X component. So if we say this is angle theta, the angle will be up there at the top. And you have a W of X and a W of Y. W of X is the one that will cause the block to slide down in the first place. So if WX equals to F, ah, then there's no net force. So net force in the horizontal is zero. No resultant force? Oh? Mm, okay, sure. Vertically, that means vertically. We have W of Y, which is this vertical one down here pulling this block towards the surface. I know it's a component of weight, lah, okay? And opposing that, we should have one more force. If not, this block will just sink into the wood. Cannot, lah, cannot. So we have another force. Wow, it's not very saying it. This force we call normal contact force. And it's exactly perpendicular to the surface already. So in this case, if normal contact force is equal to the vertical component of weight, Vertical, I mean the tilted vertical component. Then that means there is no vertical net force or resultant force. Hence, there is no vertical acceleration. The block will not suddenly fly out or sink into the board. Just no. Okay. And same for the other one. Horizontally, no resultant force, no acceleration. That's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.